All right, we're out here. Um, you guys remember the last video I did? I was using smoking baits, custom swim baits that I got here. I have more with me. Just straight push over that spot and get there. And uh, definitely going to be using them again because they produced very nicely last time. So we're going to go ahead and do that again, I reckon. We got live shrimp, swim baits. Can't go wrong with that. Probably gonna troll this just a little bit, kinda going back up into the mouth of this creek right up in here. Hopefully the angle's nice. I've been working on it a little bit, so. Make sure our drag is set. And if I'm not mistaken, I think flounder season is open. Let's go ahead and double check that. I, I wanna say it was closed last time we were out here, but should be open now. I'm gonna go ahead and double check that real quick. Yep, flounder season is open. So we are good. If we catch a nice flounder today, boys, it's coming home with us for sure. Definitely keeping a flounder if we get a nice, nice flounder today. Gonna go with the classic gulp shrimp here. White body, chartreuse tail. Can't go wrong with that. Classic color. Color set, I should say. And we're just gonna throw that on that red jig head we had. Here's the swim bait. Nice little presentation there. We're gonna get a little further back up in this cove here. I got my shrimp hanging out on the popping cork over there. This is where I got that nice, nice flounder last time. So hopefully I can replicate that. All right, switched up the bait again. Got this little swim bait with a willow blade on it. Try this out, see how this goes. So I untangle myself here. Should get some nice action. Good weight on it. Just cast it along the weed lines here. I feel like just trying to jig head and bumping off the bottom. See what happens. Classic, classic move, honestly. I'm really confused on what to do. Whether I keep using popping cork and just maybe tie on a little bit longer of a leader or what. I got voodoo shrimp that I could try popping off the bottom and shit too. I, I don't know. Yeah, definitely making us work for it today, eh? Yeah, because it's such a nice day. Whenever it's a shitty day, we don't really got to work for it hard. They're like, all right, they're already working hard enough for it being out here. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, the popping cork, I had that one bite. It was probably a trout. So, I mean, I almost want to stick with that since that had a kind of result. But, um, okay, I'm following the tree line down the main channel, pretty much just straight coming in, just straight all the way back. Yeah, it's in for. That's good. These walkies work pretty fucking far away, no problem. I hear you loud and clear. Yeah, I'm pretty impressed with the range as well. All right, uh, probably gonna make a quick move here, go a little further out into the channel there, seeing a little more bites, a little more stuff busting out there. Um, and probably take my sweatshirt off because I'm getting hot. Well, opportunity around here. There ain't nothing out here but air and opportunity. And I just took the air. <laughs> We're getting absolutely tore apart by bugs out here, especially the sand fleas, the sand gnats, whatever you want to call them. Uh, so I got this Murphy's Naturals Bug Balm, mosquito repellent, all kinds of stuff. Uh, this stuff works wonders, it smells great. It's lemongrass, rosemary, mint, a bunch of natural stuff in it. Um, are so good definitely recommend this if you guys are fishing on the intercoastal if you guys are fishing pretty much anywhere really uh definitely recommend this stuff it's not oily it's not greasy put it 
pretty much on anything and it smells awesome. <clears throat> Intercoastal food delivery service. Oh God. Oh no. Oh jeez. Oh, what is that? Oh, thin, thin, thin mints? No, thin. Wheat thins. Wheat thins, that's the one. Tomato and basil. Tomato and basil. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> clutch, honestly, clutch. Float, right? Uh, no. Yeah, we won't no. Oh, dude. Yeah, right here. Come, come this way, yeah, right through here. I'll leave the way because I got these boots on if you want. Well, I got boots. I'm not totally helpless. Oh, dude. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, actually, I'm going to take the sunglasses off. Good call. A lot of cacti up in here. Bunch of trash and miscellaneous garbage. But dude, check this out. Yeah, no, that's what I was thinking. That's a oh, spot. dude. Oh, look. Someone's obviously had this idea before. Yeah, they just left beer cans. Yeah, they just left a bunch of trash and beer cans around. Oh, dude. We're doing this. We're definitely doing this. Yeah, we're gonna have to. Like. We'll bring a trash bag for all the trash. I was about to say, bring a trash bag. Look, I mean, you can tell people have been here. They left rope and stuff up here. But honestly, look, like, we could hang up. Huh? Oh, yeah, it goes out even further? Definitely going to bring a trash bag, I'll tell you that much. Yep, there's there's an old tent. Honestly, we could uh, bring, this would be a good place for hammocks, hammock camping. Lightweight, easy to carry. Build a little structure. That'd be kind of sick. Oh, dude. Oh, wow. Wait, wait, shh, shh, shh. Hear how quiet it is from the buffer? Uh huh. Like, you can't even hear the waves. That's wild, honestly. Dude, I'm from. Honestly, dude, I'd sleep right fucking here. It's a little soft. Oh. Water collects here. Yeah, it does. What is that? It's dirt. Yeah, but why is it all beaded up like that? That's weird. I don't know. You look like you Dude. Lay down oh, dude, lay down on this. Is it soft? Yeah. Oh yeah. It's so quiet. You guys, if you want to see Nick and I do a stealth camping video on this intercoastal island, let us know down in the comments below, because uh, we're down for it. If you guys are interested in seeing that. Yeah, we'll do it. 100%. I mean, this is... I don't see why we wouldn't be allowed to camp here. I mean... This is... I mean, obviously, we're not going to trash the place. We're not going to leave nothing. Very minimal. Um, I doubt there's any wildlife on here. I mean, maybe some snakes, but... There's going to be snakes and hogs and deer. Depending on this? Depending on how big the island is. There's no way. There's no way there's hogs and deer on this. Surprised. I mean... Yeah, I guess. Take a look on the GPS and see... The gypsies. Yeah, the gyps. And see how far down it goes. Where I mean, you can see where the water gets high. You can see, like, where it flows here. All the way down, like this is a water. Yeah, I mean, water's probably been over this during. Uh, this is wild though. But I mean, not really seen any game tags yet. No. Yeah, go back side of the marsh. This is honestly insane. Definitely glad I'm wearing boots because it is unforgiving. Dude, oh, we could totally make like a structure, like a like a, a primitive like tarp deal, you know? Definitely watch out for snakes over here. Yeah, anywhere near the bombs. Well, down the overhang, all the overhang and whatnot. 
Oh, that's a tree. But dude, like, look at this, like... This is... You could just like, literally throw a tarp over some of this, and this is all, like, dead. <laughs> like... Dude, this is pretty insane. Definitely doing a stealth camping video out here. Oh, nice, we can play the football. Oh, there's a flip flop. There is a flip of a flop. Dude, this is, this is the kind of islands where people make videos where they're like, survive 24 hours with just a knife. This is honestly wild. You know what would be really wild? Setting up a game trail? Yeah. And then coming back in like a month and seeing what's on it, you know? Yeah, make sure no one else is out here too or something. Yeah. It's, all this shit looks old. I'm try I want to get over there, see if like, it, it reaches that corner anywhere. I don't think it does, that's all marked land there. I do kind of want to get back to the kayak, so. I think they're okay. You reckon? Yeah. All right, so that's just like kind of called. It's all marshland there. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Is like if you don't see like trees on it, I wouldn't like go. Yeah, it's true. It's a good, it's a good uh, measure. Well, yeah, we'll walk back to where we came from. This is pretty fucking neat, though. Hell yeah, dude. 10 year old Alex is geeking right now. Oh yeah, big time. <laughs> big time. Don't get poked in the eye by a branch. That's the only thing. What the fuck is that? A rubber mat? Oh yeah, it's like uh... a. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, boys, we battled them today. We, we, we gave her the beans. Did, did our best, genuinely, you know. Tried everything we could. It's windy, it's cold. I didn't bring any food. Nick's, Nick's got his camera out, his camera. I got that camera, both my GoPros. But we found that fire island that we're gonna be uh, definitely doing a catch and cook on, probably next weekend, so keep an eye out for that. Pretty excited for that, honestly. So. Hey, so I've actually brought the camera this time. I didn't use it, because uh, you know, I don't really want to use it out there, but that's fine. I just snapped a couple pictures. Oh, oh, it's like that. there you go. All right, but yeah, it's uh, very beautiful out today. Oh, gorgeous! We didn't day. catch anything, but we caught a vibe, as uh, said earlier, was stated earlier. But uh, yeah, I don't know what the deal was today. It's weird. We we use live shrimp, and I mean, dude, we were using we were using popping corks. We were using jig heads, Carolina rig. I mean, I got nothing on the bottom. I got a couple bites from just when we were over there on the island over there, and then I had one bite earlier on the popping cork, but I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. Yeah, I mean, we found a cool, we found a cool. It was a rough one. Cool spot though. It'll be in the future. I don't know if you were talking about it. A, a little bit. I just, I just mentioned we found a spot we're gonna do a catch and cook at. Yeah. Stay tuned. I think that should be pretty neat. I, I think. I don't know what was up with today, but I think we'll be able to have better luck there. It's deep free. What's that? It's deep free. Yeah, you don't want deep. That's what uh melts rubber. Cause if if you do, like me, you know, pretty sure they sprayed that around the neighborhoods. Killed all the mosquitoes though. But um yeah, deet's pretty bad for you. If you yeah, nice if you inhale it, you'll end up like me. But uh, this was the uh, this was the mosquito repellent we were using today, the balm. 
definitely, like I said, I'll have a, a link down in the description below. You guys go check it out. And it's just this, this balm that you just kind of rub on. Um, really nice, honestly. Really liked it. You guys, Mr. Photographer here. I'll just try it. Um, but, you know, we, we had a really good time today. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys have watched this far, make sure to click that subscribe button. Hit the bell notification so you guys know whenever we upload. Uh, Nick and I do a podcast every week. We upload a video every week. We got big plans coming up, like I said, in March. Definitely keep an eye out for that. It's a three-part video special. Keep an eye out for that. It's coming March. Um, very excited for that. Super psyched for it. It's going to be a lot of fun. And, yeah, it should be a really good time. So we're going to – we're Nick says he concurs. Uh, we're going to wrap it up here, put everything up, and uh, head home. I agree. Yeah, you know, we're going to go home and get some food and – relax a little bit and then uh i don't know if i'm gonna do anything with this camera when i get home but you know what you know what anglers have for dinner when they don't catch anything uh store-bought fish chicken oh yeah it is true yeah who knows we might have chicken tonight <laughs> did you guys catch anything or you having chicken for dinner we're having chicken i'm i'm actually I, we're probably doing pulled pork pulled pork nachos mm. barbecue pulled pork nachos nachos <laughs> dude ever <laughs> That, that one clip? Oh, yeah, the one, yeah. You know, ever since, every time I keep, like, seeing that, I even looked for it the other day. It's made me want some, like, hearty nachos bad. Dude. Wait, so I get a pork butt, and I get some Memphis rub, uh, barbecue rub that Kimber got for me. Yeah. Shout out, Kimber. And uh, I make it in the slow cooker, like, eight hours on low, just real nice, slow and slow. Mm. And then shred it up, put it over a plate of nachos, get the real cheap like cheddar cheese that comes in like the can it's got to be the real cheap stuff okay, oh, okay. don't ask me why it's got to be the okay. cheap stuff cheap okay. stuff oh my mouth's watering just thinking about it chips yeah, pulled pork uh nacho cheese barbecue sauce mm. Mm. oh man that sounds good Ooh oh jeez oh, yeah i don't know what i'm gonna eat whenever we get back i brought some pinwheels so we, we shared those but you guys saw that came in clutch as always. Some, some real food, some some real real food. That's honestly one of the advantages to going to St. Augustine is we get Bucky's afterwards. That's true. We get some but then food. the disadvantage is how much Bucky's cost. Very true. I mean, you know, my seventy dollars at Browns. He did. Also, I feel really cool with the microphone. I probably look really cheesy, standing behind my element with a microphone interviewing Nick. But uh, you know, I mean, I, it, it's fine. You know, way she goes. We, we could look more cringe. It's not like we're holding a phone up, talking to a phone. So great point. Honestly, great point. So yeah. we're gonna wrap it up. Keep an eye out for the video coming in March. It's gonna be a banger. Uh, I mean, keep an eye out for next weekend's video because it's also gonna be a banger. We're gonna do. I'm not, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna spoil nothing. But it involves a campfire, and cooking over the campfire. Not none of the stove stuff. Primitive. Anything to add? Uh, hold on. Damn it. I just lost my words as soon as I was about to say it. Uh... Release your inner primal person. Go out, explore, discover something, learn something, build a fire with just your hands. Be primal. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Till next time. Keep your cast long. Your story's true. Or right, wait, what do I say at the end of the podcast? Alrighty guys, until next time, keep your lines tight, your cast long, and your story's true. We'll see you.